everyone and welcome back to Music Explained. Today I want to talk about compound intervals. And of course, if you don't know me, my name is Elena and I'm a music teacher. So let's dive right into it. What is a compound interval? A compound interval is any musical interval that is larger than an octave. On this slide, just for reference, I put all the notes from the C major scale. So first we have the octave, then we move on to D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. As we see, the intervals are greater than an octave. So this is the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and I guess we can call this a double octave. So all these intervals are without any accidentals. Finding out the quantity of the compound interval. First, we can count the semitones or half steps, for example, C and E. So let's find this out on the piano keyboard. This is the note C4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So C and E contain 16 semitones in between them. 16 semitones builds a major third. So for you to be able to know this interval, you need to learn all the semitones between the intervals. The second way, and I think this is the easier way, is if you move a note for an octave up or down, and you can see the simple or primary interval. I took again C and E as an example. So I move E5 to E4, and we get this interval right here, which is very easier to read than this one, right? So we know that C4 and E4 are a major third. We found out that C4 and E4 form a major third. A major third plus 7 equals a major tenth. Every interval plus 7 equals the corresponding compound interval. On this slide, we have all the intervals without any accidentals, just to be easier for you to understand. So this is the second, plus seven equals a ninth. The third, plus seven equals a tenth. The fourth, plus seven equals a eleventh. And just to be clear, plus seven means an octave higher. For example, right here we have C, F, and if you look down, we have C, F, an octave higher than the previous one. There are two ways of naming the compound intervals. First, using the name of the interval and add compound in front of it. For example, this is a major second, C, D. And this one right here, C and D an octave higher, is a compound major second. The second way is using numbers above 8. Right here we have a major second, and remember the way plus 7. Now we get a major ninth. Quality doesn't change. The quality of the compound interval stays the same as the primary interval. If the primary interval was a major, that equals a compound major. Minor equals a compound minor. Perfect equals to a compound perfect. The quantity is changing. The quantity between two pitches or notes of the interval is changing when we turn it into a compound interval. But remember, we are not changing the order of the notes. We only stretch it out for an octave. Compound intervals explained. On this slide, I just wanted to put them all together, again without the accidentals. 
So the first line here is the first way of naming them with adding the compound word before the interval. And the second line here is the greater than eight method. For example, we have the octave, the next one will be a ninth, the next one will be a tenth, and so on. Scroll down in the description box. Always check the description box for free materials. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you all for watching. Check out my other videos, like this video, and click the notification bell. And, of course, subscribe to my channel. Until next time!